What is up, everybody? It is your boy, Robbie Daga. Welcome back to another episode of Mobius Double F. Haven't seen you in a little bit, so it's good to be back. We'll go over a lot of stuff. We'll talk some Mobius stuff, and then um, I'll just kind of tell you what's going on. Just with me personally, like, where's all the content, Robbie Dag? Uh, I'll, 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 we'll talk about that at the end of the video. And uh, for the start of the video, we'll talk about the Mobius stuff, so. So everybody gets a little bit of what they want here. But yeah, let's talk. Um, so we've got the Boosted Greater Summon featuring the Sky Seer. I know I'm like, I'm about five days late on this, but it goes until the 1st of November. So we have this banner going on for the rest of the month, so you, you still have time if you do want to summon on it. I do want to talk about this banner. I didn't want to not talk about this banner because this is an EX job. EX jobs are pretty much the best jobs in the game at this point. So let's talk about our EX mage here. Skyseer is his name. Um, he does have a lot of really cool, very, very strong abilities. He can play attacker and support in multiplayer, which is always nice. Um, and then it says a lot of really cool stuff about him. Like he's got two new auto abilities, elemental ampli amplification, which increases the appearance rate of the same elemental orbs you're using to attack abilities. Um, so that's just good. That that means you're going to be able to... You'll have a better chance at being able to spam abilities without having like a force or a shift in your deck. Um, and then your ultimate charge. This basically, when you use abilities, it'll charge your ultimate. So you're going to have more ultimate charges than usual with this job. You will have a prismatic return. En enhanced prismatic return and ability chain to go along with that. Also, um, this job has Flash Break, Piercing Break, Quick Break, just like all the other really great jobs. Um, we're going to look at numbers in just a second. And then your um, ult is going to do Mage's Trance, Faith, Haste, Barrier. It does a D-Barrier to all enemies, and then it does a Prism Shift. So this is already looking like it's going to be a freaking amazing job. Um, let's let's look at it in more detail. So I've got, some, I've got a nice blurb here posted uh, by Maoshiro a while ago. Make sure you come by. I'm gonna leave a link to this down below, and um, you know, leave a leave the the rate up, man. Leave the rate up because these these reviews that Malshira does are really very very helpful. And he even he he basically touches every base. Like he he puts more information here than I could I could cover with you guys basically. And honestly, I could I feel like I could. Like, shout out to him, I could just read this to you guys at the beginning of every month, and everybody would have such a great understanding. So, make sure you do come by, check this out, and um, throw him the thumbs up. But basically, um, this is the batch that's going on right now, the Sky Seer. And we can see how when you are an attacker, you're going to have fire, water, and light. When you're a support, you're going to have earth, wind, and light. So, uh, very different elements there. As far as stats go, 13.9k HP. 883 attack power. Attack power is a little low, but you're not really gonna care, <laughs> honestly. The break power and the magic power is where you're really gonna shine here. 1210 break power, and then you've got um, 1164 base magic. So very, very strong there. The crit is four stars, defense four stars, so pretty tanky. Clutch wall drain and region, those are all nice. Um, your ability charge is plus two base. Um, you have elemental amplification we talked about um, earlier. You get some heal drives when you drive light. Painful break 50%. Exploit weakness 100%. Improve crits 150%. So very nice stuff here for you know dealing damage. Ability chain 150%. That is insane right there. Um... So yeah, when you spam abilities, you're going to be getting a lot more damage out of that. Prismatic return base 15% is really high. That seems very, very high to me. <laughs> That's good, though. Uh, piercing break, especially... Oh, man, that is very good. Piercing break 150. Flash break 100. Quick break 20. This is basically up there with some of the better breakers that we've got right now. Kill and draw plus 2. That's always helpful. Prism element starter plus 2. Oh, that's very helpful. Um, that's base, too. And then avert magic down, so you can't have your magic, um, you know, debuffed at all. That is really good. Um, 
So this kind of explains how elemental balance works, which is our elemental amplification. Um, but uh, yeah, we won't we won't go over all that. That's, that's basically you'll get more elements for using those the the same elements. Basically, you'll get the same elements that you're using. Um, you'll have more chances anyway. Let's talk about the alt though. Um, Tenchi Mi Midu. I I'm, I'm not saying that right, but it looks really strong. It's got 15. 100 base um, percentage on attack power and then 2500 break power and it does hit all enemies so this is one of those jobs that uh, uh right now it's looking better than uh the skin as far as the break power goes um you know for most of the skins that we've got i think uh the skins have about 2000 percentage on the break power for reference and um this job has 2500 so you're gonna want to use the job without the skin if if breaking's your uh, your goal here. I mean, it, yeah, it's five hits AOE. It adds the faith, haste, barrier, trance, rainbow shift. Those are really good buffs, and then it does deep barrier for all enemies. That's a always a necessary debuff for most most content. So that's really nice. Um, his weapon is godly. It's one of the quick break ones that I that I always rant and rave about. I love those quick break weapons. And then it, it the other um, abilities on the weapon after boosting would be improved crits up to 70%, prismatic return up to 25%, and then your quick break would go to 20%. So a freaking fantastic weapon for a fantastic job, honestly. It, I mean, it's an EX job, you guys, so I mean... EX jobs are worth having. They're very, very strong. You'll probably use them forever. And their weapons are godly, so... Um, yeah. Let's uh, finish talking about the banner, and then I'll, I'll give you guys kind of my opinions on the banner. Um, but the cards on the banner, they look okay. Um, they're multi-hit, overkill, break, defense, down, painful break cards. So, um... You know they're they're good cards for that purpose, but they are sing they're all single target. So I'm a little disappointed about the single target. Um, so so these cards might not get a whole lot of use unless you really just need it for one target. That's my only gripe with the with the banner with the the banner cards. Otherwise, these are really really useful cards. If you've got nothing else, these cards are amazing. Uh, well, not amazing, but they're great. Um, and then we got the new Braska. So if you don't already know, there's a Braska Supreme card right now. It's basically Ragnarok for monks. It is an earth elemental monk card. Very, very good on the last two monks that just came out. Um, the EX monk for sure. And then, uh, oh, I forget the other monk's name, but uh, let's let's move on. So it's an AOE, 2640 attack power, so it's very strong. And then 660 break, it's a four orb cost. It's got the multi hit that hits nine times overkill mantra, ultra defense breaker. So what it does, what that means is it ignores it ignores defense and crit resist. So this this thing is gonna hurt bad. It's gonna hurt anything you hit with it. So it, it it's a great card. The thing is, um, this card, the the Braska Supreme card, is now in the game. It's in our pools permanently. There's no boost right now. I don't believe there is a boost right now for this card. So there's no point in summoning. For a supreme card, there kind of never is. I would never recommend you summon for a supreme card unless you're whaling. But um, this card is very good. It looks awesome, especially. I, I mean, I really want it already just because it's a monk supreme. I love my monks, so this is an awesome card. Um, so all in all, a pretty damn good banner. I mean, a, a, an excellent banner. Um, the job is amazing. The cards are a little weak, but um, the job makes up for it. So what I want to say about um, the job is, I mean, honestly, you should do your best to get any EX job that you can, or every EX job that you can, because they're such strong jobs. The thing is, I know a lot of people have been complaining about like just that there's so many banners. We've had um, these EX jobs kind of coming back to back without much time in between, so. I know a lot of people, including myself, are hurting as far as like resources and savings go. So I would recommend that you guys just do your best. Um, if you can get this job, that's amazing. If not, I wouldn't. 
it's it's not gonna you know it's it's not the end of the world you also have to consider that especially with all these ex jobs kind of coming all at once you've got to consider that there's more ex jobs coming in the future so what i mean is um ex rangers got to be right around the corner there's going to be an ex maya so if you prefer using maya mages to your war warrior of light mages you might want to wait anyway um if you're low on resources um Ideally, you want every EX job, <laughs> but uh, realistically, it might not be a reality for everybody, so just keep in mind that there's going to be more EX jobs coming out in the future, um, and you know, try to get them when they come out, because we, we actually don't know when they'll come back, and um, they're... They're not like regular jobs where you can pull them just at any time. You can only pull them while their banner's out. So keep that in mind uh, going forward. For me, I'll, I'll probably give this banner a summon or two, but I'm not. I can't go too crazy on it because I, I'm really excited about the the next couple of EX jobs that are coming out. The EX Ranger is one of those jobs I really gotta have. Um, EX Maya. I would prefer using Maya. <laughs> And uh, EX Sarah, I want to be ready for all that stuff. So do what you can, everybody. I know it's it's. Uh, there's been a lot of banners. There's been a lot of really good banners. So do what you can, and uh, hopefully you guys get some really good stuff. I wish you the best of luck. Let me know your thoughts on these banners down below. As always, um, I'd love to chat with y'all about everything. And um, for the people who did stay to the end. Um, to hear about just what's going on in my personal life. So we'll, we'll start that part of the, of the, the video now. Um, so just know guys, I, I'm, I'm just really busy. Uh, the, the last couple of weeks have been freaking, uh, crazy as far as like work and, uh, I had to move emergently, which is kind of a long story. I'll probably save it for, uh, one of the next Twitch, Twitch streams that we'll be doing. And I do want to say that, yes, I, I'm not giving up on Twitch. I know, uh, I know I haven't been on there for like at least a month, but um, I definitely plan on coming back. So don't forget your boy, you guys. Definitely, I'll see you at twitch.tv slash RobbieDag at some point very soon. Um, not super soon, though. In the next week, I have to do a little family trip. So I'll pretty much be gone almost all of next week. Um, but if you need to, to contact me for any reason, I'll do my best to um, hit you back up. If you if you send me a message like on YouTube or on the Discord, I'll hit you back up for sure. But yeah, I'm going to be gone for like the next week. And then I'm, I might be moving again, you guys. I might be moving again, this time possibly out of state. It's a long story. There's so much stuff going on, but I really appreciate you guys hanging out. Um, everybody who's sending me messages, making sure I was okay, making sure I was still alive. I love you guys. You guys are freaking amazing. Over on my Twitch, I still have I still have people who are subscribed to me, even though I haven't streamed in over a month. So I love you guys. You guys are incredible, inspiring, and I'm not giving up on this. Trust me, I'm definitely not giving up on this, um, but there's just been a lot going on. Thank you guys for understanding. Um, you know, we all go through hard times, so it's, it's nothing crazy, nothing too bad. But uh, we'll get through it, and uh, I'll see you guys back here for Season 2 of the Robbie Dagger Experience. So I, I hope to see you guys then, man. It's been awesome. We're going to do it big, so I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for being here today, and I'll catch you later.